What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play of CJ. Today we're talking about the Boston Bruins shipping Tim Thomas to the New York Islanders, uh, or the rights to Tim Thomas, I should say, in exchange for a conditional second-round pick in either 2014 or 2015. Uh, contingent upon Tim Thomas showing up to the New York Islanders, he's obviously on the suspended list right now, um, as he takes a year off of hockey to focus on whatever he wants to focus on. You know, I think it was a good move for both sides. The Islanders needed to take on some cap hit, uh, take on a cap hit to reach the cap floor or something. Um, and then the Bruins get a second round. It's really not an official transaction. I mean, it, it's an official transaction, but uh, Tim Thomas will probably never show up to the Islanders, so the Bruins will never get that second round pick. And uh, if Thomas were to show up, uh, the Bruins just fleece them. You know, I think you look at a Vezina a quality winning goalie. You know, that's uh, that's well and good. But he's also you know going on 39, um, and had you know some you know unpopular decisions. I mean, that, that's part of the reason everyone in Boston loved him, but it got to the point where I think he cared more about himself and the team. And, uh, you know, that's the nature of the beast with these guys. But, you know, good move. Like I said, I, I love Timmy for what he did. He finally brought the cup back to Boston. Um, you know, he was the critical reason that, you know, the saves he was making were unbelievable all through the playoffs. You know, Montreal, Philly, Tampa, and then Vancouver. He's on another level. And I think that's, you know, that's what you want to remember from, from his time in Boston. But I think it was a great move to get that $5 million cap hit out of here. And give him some roster flexibility going forward. Now the Bruins have been kicking the tires on Stephen Weiss down there in South Florida, and I think that would be a pretty good move. Uh, you know, the forward depth has been tested with Masha after his injury, and uh, you know, is Spooner ready? Can Bork get the job done? You know, yada yada. I mean, Sagan looked real good last night in the uh, third period, so there's something to think about. But you know, definitely um, good move for the Bruins. You know, clearing that cap hit, and you know, worst case and best case scenario, get a second round pick out of it. And, you know, the Islanders, I know they're playing very well, but odds are that second-round pick will be moderately high. But that's obviously all dependent upon um, Thomas even showing up to the to Long Island, to Nassau Memorial, the Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum. So, anyway, that's all I got. Good move for the Bruins. Islanders, it's really an irrelevant transaction. But uh, that's all I got in this episode of the Power Play of CJ on the Bruins ship and Tim Thomas' rights to the New York Islanders. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.